Hello everyone, welcome back to Slowworks Place FTL. So the same crew uh, died again last episode. The Data Carry actually I died twice. Uh, the final remain the Data Carries fall to the remaining Federation fleet and leave supplies for your journey. So make sure you explore each sector from moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Yes, sir. Let's get everyone into position. A little bit you know what yeah we are, we are we're shifting up who goes where this time uh t like is gonna pilot the ship instead of cuban mom says my turn to pilot the crystal cruiser and uh let's do this save the positions all right we we did all the preliminary tests uh, and checks for our ship i think we're ready to jump and let's go here Last episode, we talked a little bit about, like, this PC idea I have. Like, I'm, I already got this first one that's not even complete yet, and I got already been building, like, the second one. It's worrying that the Rebels have penetrated so deep into uncharted space, even if it's only an unmanned craft. It arms its weapons. You should do the same. Um... What was I going to say? Ah, goody. Annoying. Come on, heavy laser. I need or heavy crystal. I need you. Oh, just in time. Uh. Yeah. So it's yeah. It's funny that I'm built. I got the idea for another PC before I even built this first one. The ship explodes in my stance collects scrap material. As said up last episode too, I uh, I want to kind of possibly be nomadic for a while. Like, especially if I get rich off crypto, which, you know, that's a long shot dream. But even then, if I don't, like, even if I can make it, like, good enough on streaming where I can, like, live by on, like, just, like, gas <laughs> and food. You jump to the middle of the store, multiple recently incapacitated ships, luminous shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning, ran the search for wreckage for survivors and equipment. Oh, let's go. Most of the debris is hardly even usable. However, you eventually find an intact weapon that can be mounted to your ship. I do like that. Thank you. Boom. Boom. Let's go here, because there's, like, barely any connections from this beacon. You see a small station nearby and feel shutter shots ringing through the ship. Can't be sure without sensors, but it appears your ship has been boarded. Boarded. It's gonna make a rhyme that I am glad I did not. <laughs> it ain't that bad. I was just I was gonna use basically aborted as a rhyme with uh uh whatever I just said. Boarded, uh, <laughs> but, but you know, I, I, I said I'm gonna kind of try to get a little less into politics, not like a crazy amount. Uh, like I'm, I'm gonna still be open with my my uh, my stances and stuff, but sometimes I feel like I use it as a talking point, where maybe I, you know, it gets me into more trouble than it's even worth, even when there's like no trouble at all. Like, there's just a little bit of, like, awkwardness, I feel like, is almost associated with it. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna stop trying to do this. Or at least I'm gonna try to stop tr trying to flush out, like, talking points so much. Like I said, if it gets brought up, of course, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid to express my opinions. Or even talk about them. Uh, and discuss them, and even, like, ch change them, and learn, learn from them. Like, uh, over time, and learn new stuff. I think it's always important. And not to tie yourself down to being just as like this political view because then you can you know, always have bias and just wanting to stay the same and you build your identity a little bit around it. It's, it's always good to be willing to change I guess. After all, you don't want to be a liberal all, all through, through all your life. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. A heavily damaged federation ship is hiding within a nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade away into the nebula. Attempt to follow them and help them. While searching fruitlessly through the nebula, you stumble upon a rebel ship, which the Federation loyalists are likely hiding from. Prepare for a fight. Okay. Annoying ship, but they can't hurt us. Oh, good girl. Ooh. 
Okay. Beautiful. Um, anyway, so yeah, like, there's gonna be some really cool stuff with this PC, though, this, 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 this nomadic PC build. It's probably gonna be even stronger than, like, my premium PC build, but the idea of this PC is not to be, like, uh, like, the most premium you could get to, with today's state. Even my premium PC is not that either. It's more like a premium PC of the past. It's it's premium using extremely premium parts uh, at a production price, with these parts also being dated. I guess ship even though they are like extreme premium uh, pieces. Let's go here. Of hardware, pieces of hardware. A Federation crypto signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet, sending away parts to investigate. As you approach the signal, you see a message from a rebel channel. I knew he cast some Federation fish with that signal. Prepare to be boarded, scum. Oh, perfect. You guys all met in the med bay for me. Sorry, real quick. Tech Lee, can you go back here? Ow. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we gotta, we gotta think this through. It's gonna suck for a battle. Good enough. Come on, hit their drone or weapons. Can't believe you missed because it looks like it's gonna hit their drones too. Trones. No, it's gonna get destroyed by the trone. Oh, guys, we're finding the engine room. Eventually, gonna run out of missiles. This, this is heavy ship. God, because I'm taking so much damage. I thought I was a missile launcher ship for a second. Oh, God. Go here. That was a mistake. Ever back to positions. You know what? No, it's not worth it. I'm not, I'm not going through this again. The day care is very fly, see. I was thinking about trying to make it work because we got the free weapon, free chain laser, which ain't bad. But nah. Not, not, not happening. To come out the chump to see a laser blast coming from the other side of the beacon. It looks like someone's on attack from pirates. So it's a civilian ship. The proper weapons move to engage the pirate. All fire. Oh, we can get the crew in the proper position. Starman, he snores. He is snore. Okay, now we got everyone in proper position, so. They dead, a man is what they keep telling me. Ship by uh, Pirate Breaks Party needs to contact the civilian. The civilian made a wise made a fast retreat while he distracted the pirates. Like the basic idea of this build is that yeah, it's it's not it's not supposed to be a extreme like workstation PC premium build, but it's supposed to be kind of like a portable uh, car one with a lot, with a lot of cool features. We're going we're going for a Threadripper, but like in the 1920X, which is like definitely from the older series of Threadrippers, and it's like only the second most powerful or it's the second least powerful from that series as well. It's a 12 core. It'll, it'll, it'll get it'll get the job done. I also got this nice, really, like, rugged, probably as dust proof as I'm going to be able to get, uh, mini IT case, or uh, in mini ATX case, because yeah, I'm going to have to go mini ATX form factor, because that's the smallest, uh, motherboard they make for the, that Threadripper, uh, okay, let's go here, 
Who knows? Maybe I won't even go Threadripper. If I can get like a cheaper like alternative to like the 1920X Threadripper, uh, that's like Intel. Mm, the motherboard's cheaper too. I'll probably just go with that. Cause like, yeah, if, if, if I'm talking about like cutting edge, AMD obviously takes the cake. Like they they have, they have the better CPUs right now. But you know, I don't really care. <laughs> I guess I if it's, especially if I'm going for like a basic uh uh. You know, unless I'm, like, really trying to go for, like, an extreme PC build, I'm not going to really worry about whether AMD or Intel. And even then, like, when it comes to my premium PC, uh, same thing kind of goes. They, to be fair, like, back in the day, they didn't really have AMD parts. Uh, but, yeah, with, with the motherboard and everything I got, you know, it's... I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to save where I can. The Mantis female comes, it's, it's especially depending on the purpose of each part and the PC in, as an entirety. A Mantis female comes under face green. Females don't make the authority unless they are particularly vicious. You powerful weapons. Sexist. Also, we got to get people in proper position. I thought we did this already. Did I, did I just not save positions? I also want to get a uh, TV turner. So for one, I can have just like cable TV on my uh, on my PC. But I also I don't know how you can play the deal yet. I just spent like a lot of time yesterday trying to figure out and research it, but it's still kind of over my head. So this might be something I'll wait. I I, I got to the point where I'm like I'm spending too much time on a PC that for one I don't even have the money for it to build yet, nor the purpose because I'm not living nomadic. So I'm not even gonna be building this PC for like a long time. Uh, it doesn't even seem like keep focusing the energy towards it. At least for that day. Like, I already put in so much time for that day. I was like, I'm, I'm done trying to think about this PC. I'll get back to this when I have more free time. The ship exploding by scrap material. But apparently, you can use, like, these TV turners for, like, ham radios and stuff. And I was thinking, like, there's so many other stuff I can do with it, too. Like, I, I basically want to repair, like, a cheap scrambler, which is, like, the, like, the, the precursor to the cheap, uh... The cheap, the cheap gladiator. It's like this 1990s uh, cheap uh, truck bed, but instead of being four door, it's two door. And you can find some really cheap ones to repair. I'm gonna basically repair with my great uncle who knows a lot about cars. I might see if I can get his opinion too on his TV turner stuff, because he might know a little bit more about how, how ham radios work. Because they, they're just stuff that can that can connect to the uh, uh, to the PC, the the, T, the PCIe TV turner, which I was getting to in a second here let's also get into this i'm getting way too excited about computers and not playing the game enough an right, advanced triple automation ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station and in any case storage for military goods let's focus this on that but yeah like uh basically he knows a lot about cars and probably like ham radios too so i'm going to ask him about this but basically yeah you can connect the tv turn to like a ham radio and it's just like different frequencies for ham radio too, I guess. And that's something else I'm also kind of uh, being kind of confused on. It's like DVB T, which is kind of like a TV signal that is what free, uh, what some free range get broadcasted on. But that might be a part of like a, a larger set of frequencies, or it might not be. And you need a different antenna. I'm still not sure because it's also like V VMS or something like that. And that for sure is for the TV part, maybe not so much for the ham TV, the ham radio part, because they basically uh, truckers and stuff have transferred to DVB-T because they can transfer HD files and you can like run like your own like TV broadcast on there and stuff. It's it's cool stuff actually for me to be able to research so far, but it's so much to it I don't understand it. If I get to station, the station's either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have been laying on use for quite some time. You find nothing useful. But I think like there's probably like some. E even other like cool like stuff I could add to like this this uh, PC, like maybe like add like a full on like a uh, car computer component to it, uh, to uh, really make it a part of like the car instead of just being like a little gaming workstation rig that I can put in the back of like the cheap scrambler, uh, like I can actually like have it like function the ham radio that I can have acting all the time though for that i was thinking like that probably wouldn't be the best idea because like for some reason the pc were to like not work then the ham radio wouldn't work so instead i was thinking just like getting a antenna and then just like splitting it between like 
a ham radio in the car. Like an official ham radio. Like I can be on the frequencies and I can still play with ham radio on the PC if I really want to. And like upload like... Who knows? Maybe I can even upload these FTL videos to there. That'd be hilarious, right? You jump to the system of pirates advancing on your position. If you use all hails, prepare for fights. Oh no, I think that'd be fun. Anyways, yeah, so that, that, that's the idea basically of like the PC is that it's supposed to be a workstation, possibly even car computer uh, PC for when I live nomadic. Uh, I'm gonna look for like other like PCIe attachments to help with that too. I'm also trying to think of, like figure out like memory because this case is like so small. I don't want to put a whole bunch of like hard drives. I'm either gonna get like one big hard drive and maybe uh, like big uh, as in I'm big on storage. Like maybe like a hundred gigabyte hard drive and just be done with like just that and have like a, a simple MVME or uh, or a M2 MVME. This is your choice, honor by longest to live. Nah, I'm... I don't need missiles that bad. So it's like you know, like technically the value is really good, like. When it comes to us actually getting used to all that value, it's not as good. So I'm not gonna. Oddly enough, one of the times I'm not gonna accept that. Like, if we can guarantee, like, a missile seller, sure. That's actually not bad, but we can't. In fact, we're better than we ran to none. Don't do it. There we go. Thank you, Lord, and you're dead. Amen. That's what they keep telling me. The ship's closing my iron scrap material. So, by the way, leave your uh, ideas for PCIe uh, slots below. I can fit one other besides this PCI. Uh, I can fit one more besides this. Uh, one, one more PCIe card besides the main graphics card I'll probably get and the. Uh, uh, this TV tuner that I'm planning to put into it, but I could probably at least fit one more. I think like a sound card. I might also like the alternative. I something else I could also do is like set up like a uh, a LAN system, but like then we're getting like really big. I need like whole nother case that's like dust proof. It, it, it ain't against it ain't that I'm against it, but if I, I think about it, if I'm if I'm just gonna get like a large like hard drive anyways, I, I I won't I won't need that. Now it still might be good anyways because if I can like access a. Uh, like, if, if I'm traveling and I go to, like, a hotel, I can, I can put it in there. Uh, I can put it, like, in, like, a 10 gigabyte uh, LAN port. I forget what they're called. Or e Ethernet port. Or even, like, 2.5. But, you know, like, that would be the only use case for it. It would be, like, while I'm traveling, if I go to, like, a hotel or something, I can access. I can connect it to them. Maybe access it. They have, like, a cloud for some reason, which I doubt they would access it fast but otherwise i'm perfectly fine with just sticking with the uh the one gigabit ethernet because that's all that internet providers ad provide for right now it's not just i picked up a rg ship drifting through the system no doubt one of many feeling the rebel advance if he has not text you yet else trying to fully notice as he held rg ship a solid ship suddenly jumps to the system claims the Rochis are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives before he can respond and cuts communications powers up his weapons that will assault him being oversells again um, not good girl. I need to get like a simple like water bowl for you in here too, maybe and like food bowl. I think, I think that would like do it for you. And I might as well do some more research too into PCIe cards. Um, I think it also has like so many uh M2 supports. So it's like, is there? Or I'm, um, yeah, I'm too form factor. So I'm like, is there any other use like for like how this how PCIe has gotten so many uses? Like, is there anything else I could do with that? But not really. It seems like the only use for M.2 form factor right now is storage. Get out of there. Just get out of there. Just get, just get the freak out of there, dude. Run! <laughs> Can you two help with this? Nice miss. 
powder in. I don't want you to die by like a stray rocket. Oh my luck. Oh, let's go. They got fire or something in there. I don't know. Oh. So I can see her snoring a lot more when I have like the headphones on. Because like I, I feel like her like snoring like rumbling on my feet. That's how like loud her snoring can get. But like I can not hear it at, at all because it's still somewhat quiet for her snoring. And uh I can just hear the game audio, but I can feel the, the vibrations. So it's it's funny. Oh, just getting some belly rubs now. Probably hear a little bit more. Just getting a little more louder. So all the ship breaks apart. You salvage where you can. It's contact your ship. The Ritchie ship thanks for the assistance. As just your goodwill and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer supplies they can spare. Good dog. You know, good girl. Feel bad. I'm gonna take her out to the, the charity thing. I, I've been going to like this uh, charity, like it's like a homeless drive where, uh, not to get like a try to get you homeless, but it's like a supply, uh, like supply station for homeless people, and they basically ask them like what they need, and they'll try to get a lot more of those supplies and uh, and find enough for everyone. But it's, it's actually really cool. They recognize the ship for running on slave trader, he hails and helps slaves for cheap, attacks slaver scum, you know. And I don't help with that at all. I just go there and let luna get pet because she loves attention like it's like I actually had someone like finally understand the other day like a couple people even my, even my mom she took her out walking she does sing where she like just like literally will like sit herself down and will not move in front of people until she gets pet and it's been working for her sometimes too because if the people are close enough uh they'll be like oh that's that's so adorable look at this dog like wanting attention that bad uh while being so polite even though she's still kind of forcing herself on it and please, please let me pay your dog. I'm like, definitely go right ahead. And, uh, we're working on your favor too for that. But I also feel bad because there's a lot of times where that isn't, a, that the opportunity doesn't arise. And she just doesn't get it, man. She just, she just, she doesn't understand. And I, and I feel bad. And so I bring her out to the charity thing to get pet by homeless people. Because, you know, not, not to like, uh, you know, each, not to, I don't see even like marginalized, but like, just not, not to even just a group like a people. Uh, people together just based off homelessness alone. Because I don't think that's really a defining trait. I, I guess it is, but... It... Um, I, I, I don't feel as good to say as a trait. As, it's it's a group of people, for sure. Depend for combat, but... That doesn't really define like a personality trait within them. Or like traits you specifically see besides the fact that they're homeless. Uh, but... The homeless people generally do at the same time also. I feel like like the pet dogs a little bit more. And, you know, it's not everyone there, of course. But generally, and it seemed, it, 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 it seemed like an acceptable place to, like, try to force Luna on the people. If I'm going to do it at any place at all. Because then I feel like, because people usually beat me to the gun and will pet, want to pet her first. You know, it's, it's such like a, you know, it's a charity thing too. So the mood's a little bit lighter there. Uh, people are more bubbly and open. You gotta be actually shitting me. Uh, I'm willing to pet Luna. Or willing to want to pet Luna, I guess just you should even say. More people are wanting to pet Luna. It's not even willing to want. Uh, Rubble Fleet has found you. Nearby scout turns to engage. Cruiser is firing at the distance. So, uh, but I've been able to take her out to that lately, sadly, because... Nice, we need to, that's the one thing we need to down. This, this AB, ASB sucks, but... See where it lands? Of course. Okay, no, everyone back to position. You here. You here. Turn us both off. Back to position. That's perfectly fine. Insult to injury for them, but more injury to us. Uh, God damn it! Turn off auto fire. No, just keep on, keep on. Just, 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 just remember to turn it off. Oh, you like that pet? Pain with my foot right now. She loves that.
we out. We out this bitch. Spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to be fit for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to engage your ship. You may surrender the goods. They don't want to fight. They try to, they're trying to escape. Beautiful. This dog, man. This 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 dog, man. This dog, ma. This dog, man. Oh, man. What was I just talking about a second ago? Oh yeah, I've been able to go to the charity thing recently. For one, there's like, I got pranked pretty hard by my friend Smack Talk Turtle here. And I hope you listen to this, because I'm mainly just being facetious. You search the ship and discover the cargo was new from, uh, was new military grade weapon tree. It's amount of damage in the flag, but you cannot see your ship. It's like 99%, uh, I don't even say like 9%, like, facetiousness and 10% annoyance, but like, also, I don't, it's, I'm over it at the same time. It's more just for an interesting story. I was at another kickback with some friends, you know, keeping it low key while celebrating, be able to get our vaccine soon here, and, you know, that, uh, this is all kind of coming to end for us. You know, while still trying to keep proper COVID uh, precautions in place. Hey, this one is a little out there. Let's get Tech Lee healed up too. Sorry, Tech Lee. But, um,. What was I gonna say? I know I stopped paying you. Dog charity thing, that's right. Prank, that's right. Brain blast. Uh, I got pranked pretty hard. And I felt I, I pretty early. I, I had my BFA review that day. That also was something that happened. Mercy ship hails you. Greetings, friend. We heard, t we heard tales of requests and here to offer you our valuable services. Let's. I don't want to fight the ship, but it ain't too late to delay him by two chumps and like take advantage of some of these beacons. And possibly get enough scrap from those to make up for it. The nearby plant shows signs of habitation great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system sweeping its message to space. Warranty, warning, quarantine uh, level 5 under effects. Yada yada. Uh, I got pranked, I, I fell asleep pretty early, because I, I think I was up late that, the previous night, from getting ready for my BFA review. Bob completely jumped, received a message from a nearby ship, Green Swarp to our beacon for a small fee, like, continue on your way, to bad you'll get decision. And, uh, I got, basically got Tron on my face, like, Jigglypuff styled, from the first season of Pokemon. Fucker. What are you doing that order? And, uh... I, uh... What was I gonna say? <sighs> so I'm trying to... I'm, I'm blanking here for some reason. I'm, like, brain starting to power down. I think I need to get, like, a cup of water and just, like, drink the whole thing. Cause, cause every time I drink some water, I, I feel like... Like, I get a little bit of, like, a CPU boost. Like, the cooling is allowing me to reach high clock speeds. Uh. Something, 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 something. Something, something. Something. About being pranked, Jigglypuff style. I got drawn on my face. I wasn't able to, and I couldn't get it off in time to take Luna to the charity thing. So, you know. Check. I hope you, hope you're, uh. I hope you feel good about yourself. Can bring my dog to a charity event because you threw on my face and I was didn't want to show up with like a fake mustache drawn across my uh, my my upper lip. So I hope you feel good about yourself. I'm also like I'm being mainly facetious here. He was actually really nice about it too, and he apologized uh, basically the next day because you know we were all intoxicated too that night. And I I, I think he got the idea. I was having, like in a bad mood from that. I was actually in a bit more of a bad mood from my uh, be a favor for you because. It just didn't go as well as I probably needed it to. 
but it went also like it's fine. I'm not gonna like fail or anything. I think it just you know it was it was a rough BFA review for sure. But we and we got through it now too. So that was like the last big thing that I had to like kind of get right for for the semester. Uh, for semester now I got folks on schoolwork, but besides that. Like, I should be more free. So, hopefully, we're, like, it was this PC coming here with my Mac now working again. Uh, hopefully, we'll finally see a, a solid backlog and file a solid amount of videos coming out. You arrived at a long range beacon when FTL Travis charge. You can jump to the next sector. You see a message from a small refugee colony. Hail, we like to help you on your mission without much to offer. If you have some extra metal, perhaps you could do some work on your ship. Agree at Dorset for 15? Oh, yeah. The let him board and ask for time to finish your work. Let's go. Let's finally go to the next sector. This wraps up been running for a while. We will go Sultan. Go we'll probably go through this nebula next. Is this this is not hostile? There's just not a rock sector above. The Sultan patrol the boards, but let you pass me ideas federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. Okay, let's go to the shop too. This song's fascinated by other species. They set up something in a knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? Basically, shaded augment for an augment. I'm cool with that. Buy some hull repair too, because I'm not looking the best. Also, I do like the heavy laser. So much so. We'll get it going right now. I do want to hit for the distress beacon, but let's let's head for the nebula first. Oh, please tell me we got enough fuel to make it through. This beacon is patrolling uh, is patrolled by unmanned scout. The fight is unavoidable. Oh, you want some more pets? Stop petting it for a sec with my foot again. Nice. He just stalled, man. And then it was doing something like the week bef before too. Like I think it was the weekend before I was getting ready for my BFA review, so I was super busy and there was something else to happen too. I can't remember everything completely about two weeks ago. <laughs> Every damage federation ship is hiding within this nebula at the beacon. Before we have time to make contact with them, they fade away. While surging fluently through the nebula, you stumble upon a rebel ship while Federation loyalists were likely hiding from it. Or the, the which the Federation loyalists were likely hiding from. You pair four fights. So many drones and hacking. Oh my god. That's not good. Huh. How about that? I think we need to go for the weapons. We need to make sure everything stays down. Oh, my back again. Oh, my back. That's actually a really good deal. You made your point. We are being. Take this leave to our shame. Yes, sir. We'll do. Bro, I'm straight capping over here. Let's go here, 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 here. Maybe down here, maybe here, not there. But we can and we can forget about the stress speak, and the rebels will help them anyways. Inside a nebula, you take the rogue planet shifting through the space on its surface. A huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. The solemn elder hails from the planet. Through luck or intent, you discover the great eye. Look at its depths and receive just certs. As you approach an ancient alien force speaks to you, your mission has brought you great battles and great losses. Just hope ease the pain. A few minutes later, some reports of medical equipment has appeared on the ship. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warm up to passing. The ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, no doubt one will leave your position. Um, what else can I talk about? It's kind of like everything going on in my life. I'm, I'm going to Chicago this weekend, which I'm looking forward to, but I'll tell stories more about that when we get there. Got fighter with by uh, I'm basically a 
friend of a family and they invited me along to the to come with them i'm like hey that's perfect that sounds great but since i have nothing going on this weekend now then i won't be able to bring Luna to the charity thing that time it's on me she's gonna be rattling to go i'm sure let's go do this let's go do this and let's go Dumbass. Really? Fuck you. I'm going back to position as well. My bad. Long episode. The ship breaks apart. If you lose the knowledge, you're still hopefully be uh, head of the, of the fleet. I can speak. I promise. Let's go here. Rock cruiser, rock cruiser, rock cruiser. Damn it. Nurse glance out the window, but the only thing that greets you is more clouds and silence. Let's go to this, this door. Sell this heal beam. Bomb, not beam. A human ship hails, my friends, please. Nothing I don't have, nothing worth wanting and can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? Do have trouble recovering arm, but I think it actually is one of those times where we go for shields. And we heal up our fuel reserves, I mean. And maybe we don't even do that. I'll tell you what. Nah, I'm not gonna. Let's go here. You discover a number of salt feeling ships fighting off pirates. Unfortunately, one ship mistakes your purpose and moves into attack. They're fusing off communications. You have no choice but to fight. Oh, man. My back. Tell you what. One char characteristic I see common within Sultans are uh, they're very feisty. They definitely get ahead of themselves sometimes. Like, they do not accept communications at all. They're very strong-headed, say that. Oh, well, this is good. We're not in danger at all. Why aren't we piloting this ship? We're gonna die again, aren't we? Even after we just got hull repaired too. How about that? Well, at least stop the missile launcher. Oh my god! These stay dead though. Amen. That's what they keep telling me. On God though. So you go there. Ship explodes. We buy stanch collect scrap material. Um. So yeah, I'm real excited about Chicago. We want to get out of there. Ooh. Time jumps again. Or watching. I think I did not. I really read that Mulan for a second. I was not trying. To, that. Oh, that came out a lot worse than I meant it to. Or at least it seems a lot worse. Yikes. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I read that as Mulan. Uh, Taldrin, go back on weapons. You guys go, go here. Um, probably some food access even if I die. That'd be fine. Like the next three episodes are just all failures. That'd be fun. Maybe I'll mix up, play some chess for a little bit, and get back to court some more episodes. Because I know my backlogs are used up again, so I need like a lot of episodes. I'll probably be recording today. Oh my god, Luna. Probably fix your dog bed too in between episodes. I could give you a walk too. Probably do that in between episodes. Or at least in between runs. And other recordings I do today. Recording sessions. I 
And other unmanned ship patrols this area. You repair your ship for combat once more. Come on, heavy lasers. Stop the stop the leto. Stop the pain and all the suffering. Oh, you did it. You act the madman actually did it. I know, I'm not petting your stomach, you show me your stomach with the I'm not paying with my foot and you want more attention on your stomach with my foot. I get it. My foot it feels very good. For all you uh foot fetish enthusiasts out there, you now know. I gotta create a wiki feet page. A rubble ship moves into engage. You attempt to both communications, but realize futility of the action. Realize the ship is ran by an AI. They can't hurt us technically. They could technically hurt us, actually. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Uh... Uh, anyways, you should have explosive behind behind scrap material. Um, let's go here. Oh, my bad. There are some mineral rich asteroids here that Solon have been left idle, but none of the necessary equipment, but none of the necessary equipment to mine them. We can't fit the stress beacon in here. We got go. You have the long range beacon. We have a field Travis charge. You can jump to the next sector. You come out to jump to see another laser blast coming from the other side of the planet. Looks like someone's under attack from pirates. It's pirates. You power up your weapons and move to engage. Okay, looks like we're gonna live. Don't even go for the weapons this time. Whoopsies. There we go. The ship breaks apart and he hates to contact his feeling ship. It's a good thing came we did. We'd be dead otherwise. I'm a ship right and I like to be like help me. I do like home like I do like eat myself a free weapon. Probably going on Uncharted Nebula next episode. Um that will be for next episode though. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out.